So, for materials and supplies. First, you will need, obviously, something to paint. So, what my um, kit I've selected was a mini art village road section on 35th scale. And that's pretty neat. So, I've opened that up, and that'll be what I'm using for this tutorial. And the paints you will need in order of appearance would be NATO Black. For a base coat for everything, then a German Gray XF63, and then Neutral Gray XF53, and two of those, being the German Gray and the Neutral Gray, will be used for the road, while the NATO Black will be used for a primer for everything, basically. Uh, and I chose to apply it by airbrush. You can apply it, or any primer really, uh, prefer preferably black for this. Um, from any medium actually, spray paint or airbrush. Um, then for the actual dirt, you will need a flat brown, or XF10, XF54, yeah, excuse me, XF64 red brown, XF-52 Flat Earth and XF-57 Buff so paints aside you will need two flat brushes I chose a smaller one for the lightest coat of dry brushing um, which would be buff on the dirt and neutral gray on the cobbles and then a larger one for doing the entire surface. And this all depends on the size of your uh, build and the surface area of, your, of your, the area you're painting. And then if you were choosing to apply it by airbrush, you could use an airbrush. And I'm just using mine, which is just a no-name modeling airbrush. It's not by any specific brand that I know of. You can use any sort of primer, be it Tamiya or any other, um, in like a black to begin with. And then one thing I do highly suggest, because I actually didn't have the wash to do this and I didn't feel like messing around with washes on the cobbles, so I decided to use just a simple pigment, which I use the Vallejo um, Light Sienna pigment. And... Uh, that can be found both on its own, and I actually have a smaller bottle that I got with a green vehicles, um, green allied vehicles weathering set. Um, so yeah, that'll be all the materials you'll need for this simple tutorial on how to paint your um, cobbled street or whatever you're doing, whether it be cobbled street or dirt landscape, either or, or a mix of the both, like mine which was two plates done in like so this might be a bit hard to see with the lighting it's quite poor currently but um, that's about the finished product and there's two dirt strips and then the cobbled area and this will be using for my dior upcoming diorama and then I'll be obviously putting static grass and some other bushes and stuff um, on the dirt part and then doing a little bit more detailing on the road. Um, and attaching like some small structures like fences and maybe a ladder on the ground or something of that sort. Maybe some telephone poles. Um, and then all the parts for my diorama. So, let's get right into it. Here we go. Oh, and also I did forget to mention one paint. So at the very end of doing the uh, cobbles, right before you do your pigment, uh, I suggest doing just the tiniest, um, lightest dry brush 
of pure flat white um, with a very small brush, just a slight dry brush, um, so it hardly appears at all, but it will do wonders on your model and give it even that much more detail, uh, as in a highlight. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Good, we're good there. with some just a quick shot of the final product. 